Good kitten internet. Kitten right here. Um, so this isn't exactly where we left off last time. And there's a really good reason for that. It's because I overwrote the save. But I had the very previous save, and the only difference was I needed to go back through the Odd Headquarters and here in Palace Village. So I just quickly did that right before this. Um, what we're going to be doing today, there's going to be very little plot. Uh, in fact, there's going to be zero plot to speak of. There's just one area that I want to go to first. Um, I'm just going to take care of that really fast. And then you'll be free to ignore the entire rest of the video, because most of this video is going to be getting Merrivale's red powers. So, Merrivale's red powers... Uh, Merrivale's a blue mage, for reference. She gets her powers by absorbing it from enemies. And I have never actually gone through the game and gotten more than just a couple of powers. Oops, too far. Um, I've only gotten a couple of powers at most. I haven't bothered with anything else in the game because I basically never use Merrivale. And that's a shame. Because I think Merrivale might actually be a much better character than I've given her credit for. Admittedly, we're going to be losing a decent amount of hit points, but, you know, I can deal with that. Not to mention, she's still going to have significantly more hit points than normal as a result. All right. So... There's a couple of things in here that I haven't been able to do. One of those was reading. Like, there are a bunch of books that we weren't able to read before. We can actually read them now that we have Maryville with us. There's also supposed to be one of her abilities in here. Books? No books. Uh, I have to find the books. Here's books. Negative emotions. The negative emotions of humans are frightful indeed. Their hate, anger, envy, and impiety eroded the Guardian's power and drive human to kill human. In their mad rush down the path to destruction, they revealed their foolish, inferior nature. The Guardians are godlike beings who have protected Vilgaia since the ancient times. Perhaps they are perhaps beyond the strength and abilities of even us crimson nobles. They abandoned physical form to become pure consciousness. Their powers should have lasted forever. Yet at some point, the Guardians grew weak, and they ceased to interfere in the events of Vilgaia. The power of the Guardians was the source of the consciousness and vigor of all those who lived on Vilgaia. Perhaps it was the humans' negative emotions that eroded and weakened the Guardians' powers. Remember, according to Wild Arms 1, that's actually how the Guardians are weakened. It's because of humanity. Excessive power. Foolish are the humans. They seek excessive power that will lead them down the path of destruction. They ignore the knowledge that we have bequeathed them and instead pursue errant ways. They murder each other. They think of only of destruction. Why? Why do they not realize their foolishness? Are they inferior creatures after all? <laughs> humans. See your, cease your destructive ways before it is too late. Not exactly what you think of when you think of vampires, now is it? How amazing humans are. Despite their short lives and weak bodies, they surpass us in imagination. Lacking both sharp claws and fangs, humans are the weakest creatures in their natural state. Yet, indomitable in spirit, they master flight and magic. The most amazing of them all is the Sword Magus, who wields the Guardian Blade Argetlam. This one has fought the demon who ate our brethren. She compels a reassessment of human potential. Humans are indeed insolent beings. They desecrate the ruins left by our brethren. Such sacrilege is deserving of death. We must deal the humans a crushing blow to punish them and de and demonst punish them and demonstration of our strength and in demonstration of our strength. My mic is like a dog whistle, but instead of dogs, this item summons demons. The many demons summoned by this evil tool then attack the person who uses it. There is one who will show himself only when summoned with this tool. He is of unrivaled strength and can destroy anyone. Sound familiar? Since it's been a while, I'll clue you all in. My mic is the equivalent to the guitar of Maya from Wild Arms 1. 
where it summons enemies where you're standing. Now, where is that thing I'm supposed to find here? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Barney! I'm also doing this to level up um, Marigold for reference. Oh yeah, speaking of, so I had initially planned on showing you the list of skills that I'm going to be looking for. And yes, there are skills in here. But the problem is that there's 38 of them. Uh, and I can't reach all of them right now. Um, in the next set of dungeons, we were supposed to go to four separate pillars. Well... Those four pillars all have one of uh, Maribel's attacks. All of them. So, yeah. Where is it that I'm trying to go? Ooh, more books. Or no, these are the same books. Aren't there other books, too? Maybe oh, That's right, they're all the way on the other side. I remember where the books are now. So once I'm done reading the books and getting the one thing of Maryville's that are, that's here, then I could just... Then those of you who are here for the plot can just ignore everything else. Even though this is a side quest plot, it's still something. Second one, cross the bridge, over, Here's these are the other books. On Philgaia, there exists a unique species that differs from all the others on this planet. They are the dragons, a fusion of machine and living flesh. Also known as demons in Wild Arms 1, they defy traditional definitions of life. The dragons are dissimilar to the golems we created. We created. They must be the product of some unknown technology. These intelligent beings claim to have come from a dimension beyond Filgaia. Such a feat is beyond even our powers. No one understands the full extent of their powers. But the dragons, unable to adopt to Filgaia's environment, eventually disappeared. Crouching Parallel Universe. The universe of the dragons is said to have been completely devoured by another universe. Could one universe truly devour another universe and reduce it to nothingness? How could we resist this peril if it attacked our universe? Even the mighty dragons fled when, their pe when the peril attacked their world. Not even the once powerful guardians could assure our safety. For how can one fight, to say nothing of defeat, a universe? Hob and Knob are telepathically controlled attack devices. This prototype was created by Meister Anastasia. That's right. Maryville's weapon was created by Anastasia. Attack power can be boosted by inserting a mecha boost into the expansion slot. Applications include everything from disciplining children to Operation Genocide. Seems weird, but weird flex, but okay. Um... I think I'm going to go look up where the items are, because otherwise this is going to take forever. So I will be right back. Reading more books, I found the path. Absolute population size. Of all species of life on Filgaia, we crimson nobles have one of the smallest population sizes. This reflects our position at the top of the food chain. The weak species, preyed upon by the strong, must reproduce in great numbers to assure their survival. We know not death, and so need not reproduce in large numbers. This is proof that we are the strong. In Filgaia are locations where the planet's life energy collects. These are called ray points, or ray lines. Ley lines. The ley lines are comprised of four major elements, earth, water, fire, and wind. Each ley line contains massive amounts of Filgaia's powerful energy. This energy is the blood that courses, uh, that flows through Filgaia's veins. 
Although the Guardians became incorporeal beings, one retained physical form. Lucid, the Guardian of Desire. Lucid stayed by the side of the Sword Magus, giving her great strength. The source of Lucid's strength was the lust of life that the Sword Magus possessed. This fervent desire, strong enough to give a Guardian physical form, would never falter. Anyway, um... Is this actually where I need to be? Or is it the other room over? Uh, do, 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 do. Library books in it. Looking for a symbol on the wall. I think it's the different room. Oops. Yep, different room. Okay. There was a 50-50 shot with where I needed to go. It was there or over here. That's actually where I need to go. But more books first. Who ever thought that death would come to the Crimson Nobles? But it come it has, for our brethren have been killed. Killed by the Devourer of Souls. Killed by Lord Blazer. The Supreme Species is, by definition, the one without rival anywhere in the world. We, the Crimson Nobles, are that species, for nowhere is there another species that rivals us. Pathetic humans! You may cover the planet, but you are not its ruler. Know that we are your enemy. Just realized Spotify was still playing, but it wasn't playing in the recording of this, so that's fine. The Crimson Nobles are immortal. Our bodies may be destroyed, but rebirth will eventually come. An offering of blood brings silence and darkness. We return to the vessels of our souls. We come from the distant past, and we will live into the distant future. We are of time immemorial. My, my, somebody's high and mighty. The greatest enemy of the Crimson Nobles is, without a doubt, the light of the sun. We actually saw Marivol get hit by a ray of sunlight way in the opening of this game. In Ashley's opening, I should say. The sun rays can burn our skin and consume our very flesh. Such is the fate of night dwellers. If only we could protect ourselves from the sun's rays, then we could rule the day as well as the night. We crimson nobles are Philgaia's supreme species and the planet's rightful rulers. Humans have spread over the world as if it's theirs, but they are inferior to us. As the supreme species, it is only a matter of time before we rule the world. The Golem are our faithful servants. When summoned, they destroy our enemies. With magic, we have endowed their inorganic bodies with pseudo-life. They have been our constant companions throughout time. So how much do you remember about the Golems of Wild Arms 1? Now we have a way forward. An incarnation of destructive power wakens from a time long past. Its power makes the earth rumble and crushes all who oppose it. I didn't need to cancel that out. What am I doing? Asgard. The Earth Golem from Wild Arms 1. Marivel has the ability to summon the Earth Golem. You may have seen said Earth Golem in the opening video to Wild Arms 2 second disc. That's actually what's holding Marivel as she's going along. Asgard is a modified Type 3 heavy armor attack golem you can summon to crush your enemies. So yeah, Marivel has two force powers right now. That's Quibbly, which is a mole-type attacker. It, I think more bomb-type, but whatever. And Asgard, which is Asgard from Wild Arms 1. Yeah. So, fun fact, Asgard is in Wild Arms 1, 2, and 3. Surprise! Just like Marifil's in Wild Arms 2 and 3. Which is not playable in 3. Anyway. Alright, that's the only thing here. 
So if you are watching this for, hey, look, I want to see progress, this is the end. Enjoy the video. I hope to talk to you next time. Stay well, Internet. And for those of you that are watching because, I don't know, you want to watch me talk and say things, hi. Uh, Bukiti, unfortunately, is sleeping on top of my UPS, as usual. And I am not going to move that camera again after the audio problems that happened last time. Nuh-uh. All right, so one of the creatures is actually in this area. I'll save state. I was surprised by those. Pyromania! <laughs> okay, Rockbuster and Jack-O-Lantern are either one of those creatures that I am looking for. Rockbuster, Jack-O-Lantern. <laughs> Nope, they're not. So this is kind of acting like a way of grinding up for leveling the characters that are a little far behind right now. I'm not intentionally grinding for them at the moment. That will come in a different video. Because I need an ability to properly do this. Because how do you grain, grind for experience in Wild Arms 1? I'm going to be doing the same thing in Wild Arms 2. Um, so yeah, both Ashley and Maryville have leveled up at this point. No, uh, only Ashley has. Maryville's still down to like 1300 XP. And there's no reason for me to bring her out in the front right now. What am I missing in this area? Area south of the Crimson Castle. Okay. It's actually the area over. Whoops. Well, I guess I'll just kill these. I should probably just move Saber up to the top, because seriously, this is getting ridiculous. Saber is the most powerful spell in the game, in my mind. Offensive spell, that is. Uh, it's significantly more powerful than it appears. Well, one, at the moment I have... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, it's this area. Um, at the moment I have it as a um, plus 50% damage spell. But also, secondly, because it's the easiest spell in the game to dual cast. I can't actually remember what in the world it's supposed to be. Belphegor and Chrysalis. Neither are on my list. Chrysalis. Aren't they immune to, like, every magic or something like that? Chrysalids. Um... Yeah, absorb all elements. Cool. Uh, what about Belf? Weak against all elements. Okay, so Cannon, you're actually going to get that one. Lilka, you're going to saber that one. Tim, you're going to hit them with whatever. It doesn't matter. I should have grabbed more water. I'm only at two liters of water today. Ooh, I actually got hit. Everybody's defenses are down now. Yay. Die. On the plus side, it's easy to heal up. Oh, right. I still have a ring equipped on cannon, don't I? Never leveled up. That's nice. Oh, are you coming out to say hi, Bukini? No? You wanna come up here, Boo? You can scratch if you want, that's fine. 
Alright. Oh, during my Let's Analyze, I ended up finding out that there are a bunch of balloons over in this area, too. The reason why the balloons are here, it dawned on me afterward, is because this is the area that you get a lot of abilities from Maribel. Really? Again? Um, this is the area that you get a lot of abilities from Maribel, which means you can get an ability off of a balloon. It's not a very good ability in my mind, but you can get one. Prohibited spell, boom. Okay, that didn't do anything. Yeah, you can defend if you want, that's fine. I don't care, you're gonna die. Because really, defense does nothing against Saber. Saber is super powerful. And first aid. So, let's see, what's been going on? Um, I meant to clean today, it didn't happen, because I decided I needed to be around people instead. People are better than cleaning. Let's lower my desk a little bit, there we go. Um, being around people online, not in person, seriously, there's still a pandemic going on, I'm not doing anything like that. Um, was more important for my sanity. Gildums? Are Gildums one of the creatures I need? No. Damn. Ah, it's Amans. Which I've encountered before, I know that. Okay. You're getting gadded. You're getting earthed. You're going to FP shift. Hi, boo. Now. Bonk, 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 bonk. You're defending yourself. Good for you. FP shift will allow cannon to get them. The end. Boo, kitty. Okay. That's probably balloon. No. That's Agus. Agus do not have anything for me. So much random encounters because like it's easier to get the ones that are indoors because the one indoors the ones indoors are usually fewer variety uh, smaller variety which means it doesn't take as many battles to actually get the correct enemy it's been around for a bit no you're not it I don't feel like fighting you Go closer to the border. There. Now you can see the majesty of Boo. And she turns around. Of course she does. I mean, the rate that I'm going, this is just going to take forever. Elder Sings, you also don't help me.
All right, Thalo Bunny and Nosferatu. Also not on my list. Seriously, I'm gonna double check these. So that's supposed to be the Dewo Bunny from Wild Arms 1. And it's also incorrect in the, um, whatchamacallit, um, guide on top of it. So it's really far off. Does... You know, I can make this work. This can actually be a useful bet. They also don't drop anything I care about. I mean, yeah, they drop big berries, that's nice, but it's just that, it's nice. Uh, what about the... Nosferatu. They go to Body Snatchers, they're weak against light. They drop and or let me st steal Jack Squat. Body Snatchers are not one enemy type that I need. Okay. So. This is what we're going to do. We need to divide. So what we're actually going to do with Loka, oops, with Loka, actually wait, let's do this the right way. Okay, so we're going to be using a lot of mini carrots. That'll get me enough. Assuming it doesn't run away, we should be fine. Mystic Mini Carrot's one of my favorite things to do, by the way. You're dead. Okay. Divide. This is what Divide does, by the way. Divides it into something of half level. And this something, oops, not equip, happens to be something that I need. Yeah, we'll swap Tim out. And we'll also give, oops, Cannon Gurdjieff. So Cannon will defend against physical attacks. Uh, Lilka will heal Maryville, and Maryville, I forgot to actually do... Um, I have an item that would work. I need her luck up higher. There. Now her luck is best, right? Yes. Good. Because there's a random chance of gaining the ability. That's the part that sucks when it comes to this. So you're going to defense her. You're going to heal Maryville. Maryville is going to try to skill drain. I now have Frigid, which means that she now has her first spell. Okay, now this thing can die. See? Frigid. Ice Elemental, Red Power, Single. It's not going to do any good against this enemy. And they're dead. So, that is what Maryville looks like. Ignore their artifacting. She has very pointy ears. And her hair just sticks out, just like her cape. I love how she runs around, by the way. She is by far my favorite character to have as the current avatar as a result of that. So, I gained one ability. That's good. It's only taken me how long has this video been going on for already? 30 minutes. Cool. 29 and a half, whatever. Anyway, there's one enemy in here. Just one. You're not the enemy. I'll move Mary Bull back later.
It'd be nice if I already had my mic. I surprised them. Almonds! That's one I need. Okay. So in that case, since I surprised them, I'm going to swap Tim in instead of Cannon. Tim is going to water those dudes. Water Pumpkinhead. Is Pumpkinhead actually the one that's weak against water, or is that a different element? Yeah, they're still weak against water. Can I divide them into anything useful? Stolas is no. Okay. I mean, technically, I can keep dividing until I get to something, but eh, it's unlikely that I'm going to get anything useful. Skill drain. Amen. Gimme. Mastered Canceller. What's that even do? Cancels actions in that turn. Oh, so it counters their abilities. Neat. I want to see what Frigid looks like. That's what Canceller is, apparently. Still want to see what Frigid looks like. Oops, I didn't mean to defend on all of them. You're just going to cancel every time that you go. Oh, there we go. All right, so Frigid just looks like a regular freeze spell. Got it. It does next to nothing in damage because she's so low level. That's expected. Good job, Maryville. All right, we don't have to be here anymore. So we're going to leave. Marriott, let's go after a balloon. So might as well. Done this so much today. All right, balloons. Gimme. Wild card. What does wild card do? Randomly casts a red power. Let's try it. Ah, I wonder if it's always random as to what power is in one that I already have. I mean, that's an easy way to find out, right? Yeah, it looks to be only ones that I have, which is fine at the moment. All right, got that. All right. Again. So that's outside the spiral tower. Where was the spiral tower at? Or is that later on? That might be later on. Let me look at the map really fast. World map. Spiral tower. Yeah, no, that's end dungeon. So yeah, we're not going there. Okay. Let's see. Next up, Werewolf's Den. I'm going to be hitting that next video because I'm going to actually go through that dungeon. Uh, area south of the Crimson Castle. Damn it, there was another one. Rumble. Buckles. Wait, aren't those... Did I just misremember and accidentally fight multiple of those? 
I totally did, didn't I? Right. I really don't need to escape. What am I doing? Summon undead. Ah, they summon body snatchers. Interesting. Can I divide the body snatcher into something? Body snatchers divide into flarities. Oh, right, I already did that, didn't I? Oh, I can pickpocket tiny flowers from them. I'm gonna do that. You're also gonna get good luck. Oh, no, I don't have an amulet. Okay. why I'm not trying to grind them any other way. It's because it's easier to do it this way. I'm already having to do these battles. Why grind and then do the battles? Uh, maybe I should try splitting pumpkin heads. Mystic Mini Carrot is basically, hey, increase the force of your other characters. Also, it flutters their force level, which is very handy in certain situations. Cancelor doesn't help when I've already gone. Critical. How you almost hurt me. Divide. Can you just divide on multiple targets? You're not actually dividing. I thought you did. Divides into Stolas. Maybe it's because there were already enemies there. Eh, screw it. It'll be fine. that I know of that's going to take a long time to do. Really? This time I surprised them. That doesn't help. I can run away from anything I surprise, right? Justas and Baphomets. None of those are on there. What do they divide into? Baphomet divides into Flarities. A lot of things divide into Flarities for reference. Justas divide into Stolas. Stolas divide into Shriekers. Shriekers divide into... Beast Pillars. 
Beast pillars divide into blue books. Beast pillars, aren't those something that I can... No. Okay, so I don't care about any of these. I surprised them. Uh, my eye. Something flew into my eye. There we go. Um, Chrysalis and Genums, neither of those were there. What about what they divide into? Chrysalis divide into Flarities because they're flying. Geldums divide into Stolas. Don't care. And yeah, I'm a, totally abusing Chronomancy. I don't care. I don't want to be around here forever, and all I'm doing is just trying to find skills. Ha just a Nosferatu. Interesting battle. That's right, you actually survive this, don't you? Yep, that's fine. Honestly, I'd rather steal from your body snatcher. thought Turn Undead would have actually been that useful of an ability. I guess I just never used it in Wild Arms 2 normally. Oh, she went back on top of the UPS. Except of course she did. Uh, Agus, what do you divide into? They divide into Flarities. Why does everything divide into a damn Flarity? Where it's like anything with wings divides into flarity, and a lot of things without wings divide into flarities. Because why not? I should just pause this until I actually get into a battle with something that's useful. Elder Sings. No. I said no. No. Seriously. I know I've fought these before. This is getting ridiculous. I'm going to pause this. I'll be back. And back. I finally found the Bockles. They're palette swap pill bugs, except I don't even think that's much of a palette swap. Okay. Let's throw in Maryville instead of Tim. Equip Cannon with Grudyev, so Cannon can just defend. Maryville, please learn. That's the ability, by the way, is a port. Drop a bucket. Oh, okay. Ow. I don't even know what a port does. But I learned it. Bring Tim back so we can actually kill these enemies.
You're dead. You're both dead. Cannon leveled up to 36. Nice, Cannon. Nice. Alright. What the hell is Bockle? Or what the hell is Aport? Non-elemental red power. Interesting. It's just very weak. In their hands, at least. Okay. We got that. Save. Now, what's next on my list? Coffin of a thousand of a hundred eyes. Where was that at? Coffin of a hundred eyes. Twenty-two. That is in the desert. Okay, I remember now. So we will want to teleport orb out to quickly. It's the place that's in the desert. I just can't remember exactly where. There. Why did I cancel that? Okay. Coffin of 100 eyes, but specifically after the save point. So I'm actually going to have to go through a little bit of the dungeon. Oh, this place. I remember where I'm at now. <sighs> At least it won't take me that long to get to the save point, I think. I'll oh, surprise them. Gremlins and Mushusu. Either of those on my list? No. Gremlins divide into lily pads. Mushus also divide into lily pads. Are lily pads on my list? No. Don't care. Kill them all, got it. All right, I remember this now. Right, I need to come from the other direction. That's what it was. That's a one-way direction because that was smart dungeon design. We'll get up the healing. There's the safe point. Okay. So somewhere beyond here. Honestly. These are normal enemies. 
What are they weak against? It's just gonna be easier if I look at this up. Nothing. Gremlins are the ones weak against magic. Okay. So in that case. It's basically not electricity. up some more so buck Baird is basically what I'm looking for I'm just gonna go further into the dungeon just because I don't know how far past the save point they're supposed to be but I am going to actually start fighting battles again let's try in here really I don't want to be in here forever. No. It's not what I'm looking for. Give me something else. That's what I'm looking for. You have an Erg Phaser. Erg Phaser. Gimme. So what's it do? Erg Phaser. 90 Force Points. It's the same thing as a port, but 90 Force Points instead. Okay. Um... Everything's big against Saber. And I'm just going to take a while, I guess, and go with Lightning. Tim hit 42. It's a nice number. All right. Time to walk back. Pausing. Wish I could teleport out of dungeons. I miss that ability. Now that I'm out of there, our next spot is the Inner Sea. Which what I did was I teleported to the Valeria Chateau and then to the Hovercraft. So what we are looking for is a cuttlefish! Yay, cuddles. Ooh, danger cuddles. Probably not at all dangerous to us at this point. We'll have our Hovercraft go wildly out of control. Eventually actually hitting a random encounter, I swear. I actually need to go over th this area anyway. Seriously? No random encounters, thank you. Cuttlefish! Give me your skills, please. Oh, I should have healed Marigold while I was at it. Geyser! You know, that. Zap. Freeze, sucker. Zap damage. Doesn't matter. We got our geyser. Okay, there was something else that I needed to go in there. No, that's right. That's a different spot. Okay. So, U-shaped island somewhere south of the Promised Catacombs. Where are the Promised Catacombs at? I seem to remember where this is. Promised Catacombs. Promised Catacombs is 18 on the map. 18 is located there. Okay. I need to reach land. Oh. This is land. This works. Teleporting to Holtz, because this is actually where I need to go anyway, because... Bloop. 
finally get this item. It was a crest. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Anyway, there's enemy over in this area. I don't need to be on the plateau for the enemy, even though that's what the red power guide says, but I know this because I've fought plenty of them. It's not Rick Gobbs, though. You get an import. Out of curiosity, did they divide into anything I want? They divide into assassin bugs. Pretty sure I don't need those. No. No, I do not. I don't know why I cast first aid, but whatever. Try to get a battle up here. Don't want gobs. I don't want them either. So I don't need Linferms for anything, right? No, and... They divide into Bone Drakes. Which I also don't need. Can I just run away? Yes, please, thank you. <sighs> It's like a battle of three of them. These. Earth figures. The things that I found out do not cast fire on. Um, Earth figures have power seal. Skill drain. Just blow one up. Boom! Give me your ceiling power. Thank you. Great. Pfft. Quibbly. Or cubely? Not sure how that's supposed to be stated. Now they drop their items. Cool. Okay, we got that. That wasn't exactly what I was going after anyway. But it's something I needed. Save state, and where we're going is down this way. <coughs> There's something here. I didn't even see what it was. I'm actually going to reload so I can see it. It's, that type of thing would bother me. It's a scapegoat. Okay. That's Raypoint News. Or Raypoint. Um... Wait, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is for obviously no reason at all. u shaped Island, somewhere south of Promised Catacombs. This is where the Promised Catacombs will be. They're not here yet. So there's going to be a U-Shape Island somewhere south of here. Where? Because this is up to Guild Galad. This is where Promised Catacombs are, right? Or is this the U-shaped island? One moment. Looking up map again. Routine. The Promised Catacombs. 
What the hell you shaped island are you talking about, game? All right. I'm going to just search for the monster in a different guide. These are supposed to be dumpties. Crescent Peninsula, south of Courtly. It's this area. All right. I have no idea what I'm getting into in here. So I don't remember it all. Wait, isn't this the arena island? Potato heads and jack lizards. What the hell are these? Uh, are either of them on my list? Yes! Potato head is on my list. Okay. What the hell ability is that? All right, let's swap. I'm going to go with Tim out. You're going to use Defensor. Loka, you're going to... Defend. And you're going to try to skill drain a Mr. Potato Head. Yep, this makes sense. Toxic Breath... Escape down. That's the ability. Residence quake. What the? Okay. Master to escape down. Drops the pry value of a target to zero. So pry being parry, it makes it where they can't counterattack. Ah. Huh. Or block. Say. Okay. So what the hell is a jack lizard? <laughs> They're weak against darkness. They are really easy to kill, and they drop big berries. Okay. Quibbly. Time to actually use it. Yeah, I don't care about escape downing. Quibbly. Cubely? I think it's supposed to be Cubely, but this is what Cubely looks like. I have no idea what it's supposed to be a reference to. At all. See, it actually does halfway decent damage, given how low level she is. Yeah! Okay, but this is the island of the Promised Catacombs, not to the south of the Promised Catacombs. So I think it's actually on that tiny little peninsula that we were at that had the, like, this thing here. The thing that looks vaguely phallic. Graboids! Graboids! Ah, uh, now we have tremors going on. Uh, let's see. Graboids got nothing that I care about at all. I should have healed Marigold. I really don't know where the heck it wants me to go. Just gonna do one more enemy check. Mermicolio? Giant ants, but I've never seen a huge chunk of these enemies. Drops mini carrots. That does have a red skill, though. Okay, that's not the thing I was going to go for, but I'm going for it now. Okay. We're going to throw Tim in instead of Loka. Honestly, this might actually be what my party ends up. You're going to defense her. Tim, you're going to first aid. Maraville, you're going to drain them. So this should give me earth magic. That ability, specifically. Although that hit a group. Okay. 
that is an area of effect one. Wow, I didn't think that was going to be something I'd learn. Okay. You're going to die a painful, horrible death. You're going to first aid. You're going to... Frigid that one, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, that's not it. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Over here? This is a ray point area, isn't it? Oh, that's Pirate's Warren. That's an optional dungeon that I'll be going to a bit later. Again, I'm trying not to do any of the new areas because I said this was just for getting Maryville her abilities, and that's what I mean to do. Well, Sealed Region definitely has one. Actually, I need to teleport here because I need the hovercraft. So dark waters southeast of the sealed region. So it's the Triangle of Doom. I am looking for a Skid Lancer. Encounter rate's so low. Whoa. You are not Skid Lancers. You're all evaders. You don't help me at all. Never encountered these before. So many enemies I have never encountered. Uh, they drop war respites. Okay. up and then bazap spark bazap death did didn't drop anything though that's unfortunate what's the enemy type uh, name that i'm looking for um skid lancer Intersection of lines south of Lords and west of Crater Island. It almost sounds like I'm not quite in the right spot. Because I'm not. Cats are crying because they're 
hungry slash need the litter boxes changed. I remember seeing this. But I've been searching out here before. Well, the way the parallax works in this particular area throws me off. Southeast. South of Lords and west of Crater Island. I don't suppose I have a map of those areas, do I? No. No, I don't. West of there. Okay, I need to go much further down then. If it's in line with that island, that means I need to be much closer to that island. All right, let's go west. I think where it's at is a little bit further, like here. There's no dark spot here, though. Ram encounter rates really low in water for some reason. Skid Lancers! Alright, they look just like cuttlefish. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, I'm getting a little tired. A little late. Cannon Defensor. Marable Drain. Wilka Heal Marable. Hi, Aqua. Oh, rather unusual spell to have. Are you teaching me Hi, Aqua? No, you're giving. Oh, you're the ones with status lock. Okay. So this is the only ability that I actually need on Marivel in order to be able to do things. Well, needs a strong word. Marivel's technically a hidden character. She's completely 100% optional, but assuming that I was actually going to use her, which I am. Yeah, you can go in the back now. Mystic Thorin. Thorin. There we go. Um, assuming I'm going to use her, Status Lock is the ability that I wanted. I had mentioned this in Wild Arms 1 when I discovered that Status Lock was also in that game. Uh, Wild Arms 2 is a lot more obvious on how to cast it. So, when you cast Status Lock, that means that that particular target is immune to all... Is immune to having their status changed. Status Abnormality Blocker, single target. Status Lock is very useful for grinding. Um, I still need to find where the hell Dumpty is. Got Earth Figure. That's not an area I can reach. Got that. Diablo Pillar Cana is a Furfur. Diablo Pillar Cana is 11. 
11 is way out there. I can do that. Let's just get the land that I can actually go to. This isn't land I can go. Oh, yeah, it is. This is the scary place. Hit. Yep, this is Monster Island. This is the remains of the arena, for reference, from Wild Arms 1. Let's go ahead and see if we can get into a battle here. Doppelgangers? I don't have anything that I can get from a doppelganger, right? No. What do doppelgangers split into? Flaherty's. Why do I even look these up? recording hour and 16 minutes freaking hell it's the reason why i decided i was just going to tell people yeah you don't don't worry about watching this one more doppelgangers if so i'm just gonna leave yeah it's just more doppelgangers i'll come back here later there's a lot of different type of enemies on here but the important thing is i can teleport now um the pillar cana that closest is going to be Bill galahad Oh crap, can I even get there? Yes, good. So it's actually in the Diablo Pillar, but I don't think I have to go to a specific spot. So like, here is good enough. Oh, that's trippy to look at. Maybe I should go further in just so I don't get seasick. Perf her. That was fast. See what I mean by interior dungeons? It's so much quicker. Answer. Skill drain for fur. Lilka, just get rid of the other thing. Uh, Siblia. I assume I don't need that for anything. Divides into a pasta chat. I need a pasta chat? No pasta chats. Uh, although I can get tiny flowers off of them. Meh. I'm probably not going to need too many of more of those because I doubt I'm going to sleep all that much more. Crow's hammer. Ow. Gimme. I gained inspire. What the hell does inspire do? What? What is with her abilities? That's everything in this particular dungeon. Actually leveled up again. Cool. So glad I don't have to worry about that anymore. All right. I can leave. <laughs> Is this leaving or entering further? It's leaving. Good. So I got that. Wind Tiger's Den. Wind Tiger's Den. I've been there recently. 34. That is... There. Yep. That is the second part of the inner sea. Easiest spot to, for me to teleport. Teleport? For me to teleport? It's actually where I'm at already, now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm not too far off of it. It's right here, for reference. All right, and what am I looking for here? I am looking for Gargoyle. This is the right island, right? No, it's one over. It's like, wait, I should see what's on here. Because again, I've been here. 
Why did I not? I don't know. Whatever. Good enough. All right. Wind Tiger's Den. You know, home of that thing. This is where we will hole up. What are we looking for in here? Uh, wind Tiger Den. Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Just gonna make an assumption here and rock bolt one. Bonk, bonk, bonk. No, but it was good enough. Mastered Twister. Okay. Now we can kill them dead. Twister. Oh, that's in the area of effect one. Why not? I don't think it's going to live. Psst. It's not going to live. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Yeah, his normal spells are now doing over a thousand damage. All right, now that I've done Wind Tiger's Den, Promise Catacombs, I'm not there yet. U shaped island south of Humpty and Dumpty. I need both. Okay. Is this further in or further out? This is further in. We don't need to go further in. Um, ignoring that. Uh, Milk Elm, as in the Milk Elm Lich. I know exactly where that's at. We've been there quite a bit. Not there, but here. Also, I'm curious what the... Oh. I missed that way back when at the start of the game because Brad could have grabbed that earlier. But I didn't want Brad to level up, so I was kind of in a rush. Can't land here. I actually have to take the boat to get to that island. But this is actually where I need to be. We have fought many of these liches, because that's the thing that gets us the um, lucky cards that I was stealing a while back. You know, those things. So, first thing. That thing's dying. Oh, wait, no. I need both. Okay, never mind then. Maravel, please skill drain from the Lich first. We're just gonna hide. It'll be fine. So that's the other ability I want is Firebolt. Okay, I got Gelaclay crazy. Good. Marvel, drain the other one. You're dying. Oh no, I took 51 damage and fire dolt. So yeah, fire bolt is just the fire attack one. Get a crazy. You deal damage equal to the last four digits of your money which is not very useful but you know i'm trying giving it my all as it were okay got those two uh got that outside of pirate's warren we just went you were, we were just there. Dang it. Pirate's Warren is at 20, which is, yeah, that island. Okay. Save state. I'm not actually that far away from it. So I'll just fly there. It's this island here.
not Shamblers, right? No, it's not Shamblers. I am looking for uh, Nebus. It does say outside of Pirate's Warren, not inside, so. That thing. Nom. Gimme. Megaton. Another non elemental area of effect ability. Cool. What are these things' weakness? Nemus are weak against dark. And they don't really have anything special. I am going to have to order this. It's going to drive me up the wall. Dark. I don't think it's going to look through that anyway, but you know. All right, got that. Next up on the list. Got the Potato Head, got the Skid Lancer, Thunder Drake, Thunder Lion Cage. Yep. Uh, Thunder Lion Cage, that is where? I am so tired. What time is it right now? Oh, it's extremely late. Let's finish this up. So, Thunder Tiger Cage, that is, Thunder Lion Cage, that's 23. 23 is there. Yeah, that's where I thought it was. Okay. I'm going back to the inner sea. I could have teleported. It just dawned on me. I think it's actually faster to go this way. This is it. And it's actually in the Thunder Lion Cage. Which, there's stuff for us to do in here now. See the symbol? I'm probably going to end up ending and coming back here. That's my idea, at least. Do we actually have enemies in this section? Yes. That's what we're looking for. But we surprised them, so... Give me your skill. Nom! five cannons attack. Nothing does. Ilka leveled up. Cool. Uh, next up on the list, Desert Outside of Courtly, which I could have done before and didn't realize. We don't have much left for reference. We've got that. Water's near the island outpost and trying to figure out where in the world that U-shaped island is. The desert outside of Courtly is here. <laughs> uh, what are we looking for here? Twin Tail. Let's hurry this up already, shall we? Twin Tails. Perfect timing. Give me your skill. Can I learn Mage Weapon? That would be great. Or High Quick. I would love those spells, especially since High Quick doesn't exist otherwise. Chatterbolt. Okay. Uh... What are they weak against? Is it light? No, it's water actually. Okay. Watering. And first aid, so look is actually act back up to full. Almost done. At least with what we can get done. It is so late at night and I've only recorded two videos and one needs editing. Uh, okay. Next one. Water's near the island outpost. Okay. Um, where can I teleport to to get close to that?
Yeah, I'm gonna have to teleport to Guild Galad. I think it's this. It's not these. What exactly am I looking for here? The Vepers. The par, Vepper. Same enemies. Yeah. I wanted to see. Can I wear the odd sandals? Sure. We'll also wear a pair of velvet boots. Why not? Just circle the island outpost. Are you the pars? You are the pars. I don't know if I've seen you before. All right. Let's get Tim out of there and swap with Maryville. Cannon, not that that matters. Mystic Thor Ring. Get rid of the elevators. Skill drain of a par. Zap. Maelstrom. I thought I had a. I thought I had um, much more priority on them, but all. Now I have that spell too. Neat. have a thunder ability that you can actually use. No, that would be too easy. Wild card it is. Lizard breath. Ooh. Oh, I do it to them. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> Okay, so now I just need to find that Crescent Island and I can finally go to sleep. It's not even a kitty here anymore. Put this one back. That works. All right.
I'm just going north instead of south. Crescent shaped island. What the hell are you talking about for a crescent shaped island? None of those are crescent shaped. And this is really far away and also not crescent shaped. I've fought Humpties and Dumpties before, haven't I? found him. I don't know whose idea of that being south instead of southeast it was, but I found the area by just looking at the map. Humpties and Dumpties. Okay, these are actually difficult enemies, so I'm going to have to be a little careful. You said it, boo. He's hungry because it's well past feeding time at this point. Defenser. Maraville, Skilled Grain, Humpty. You're going to heal Maraville. It's overkill, but it'll be fine. High shield. Nice. Got Humpty's anti-magic. Cool. Which means that you are allowed to die now. Maraville, you need to drain Dumpty. I should swap characters. That would make more sense. Tim is going to be way better at fighting this. So, you're going to die. Skill Drain Dumpty. Tim. Hide. And Armageddon. All right. This will work. Heal. Actually, Mystic. Light Ring. Maravel. So what are my abilities? Anti-magic. Blocks magic. Armageddon. Darkness area of effect all. Cool. Why not? And you are going to for date. That's right. That was the whole reason why I organized it that way. All right. And this is the last one of the abilities I'm going to be grabbing. I can leave. I can save. I can exit. And we can go. And we can sleep. There we go. Boy, this has been a very long video. I apologize. My apologies for the length. Hopefully most people haven't been watching the entire thing because this is a little nuts. And I didn't even grind up yet. But, you know. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. I'll talk to you next time either way. Bye. Sleep.